I've done a lot of traveling in South America, Europe, uh, all over the U.S. My really good travel companion has been my buddy John. John's in the process of dying from cancer, so he can't travel as much anymore. And he, but he did a lot of my motorcycle trips in you know, Peru, where we hiked up. We did the Lars Trek and uh, went to uh, Machu Picchu, but instead of taking the bus, we took five days and hiked the back way to get up there. But he can't do that stuff anymore. Investigated, and I said, never been to Corsica. And so I thought, well, I'll see what it's like to travel with a group of people I don't know. I've been married 45 years to the same person. My husband is a workaholic. If he becomes tense and tense and tense, so he has to get on vacation. Oh, this is a tag sale. We, we ran out of money, and we're forced to sell our possessions because Peter didn't plan well enough for this damn trip. <laughs> you keep laughing. You have to have a sense of humor. It's the only way marriages survive. Everybody on this trip has just been so much fun and uh, entertaining and, and uh, fun to learn about other people and where they come from as well, you know, what their background is, why they travel like this as well. They, we have so much in common to pick a trip like this, you know, that it, you kind of bond from the first day, you know, and uh, so that makes it really special. You know, everybody's got a story to tell. Every single person on the planet has a great story to tell if you take the time and encourage them to tell and I always did my own trips. So it's been a great experience that I could have uh, missed had I prejudged things. Kind of, it, it's almost a spiritual journey some people share with you that, that they, they see the, the landscape and the mountains and the peaks and the colors and the water and, and they just, you know, it's just being able to share those stories at the end of the day over a glass of wine and some gourmet food is, is a perfect ending to the day, perfect. Some vacations I've had to make myself sit and read a book, you know, because that's the vacation, but if I had it to choose, I'd be hiking every day or paddling every day or going someplace and exploring. I love to explore, I love to see new things to me, and uh, it's fun doing it with a bunch of other people with similar interests as well. If you stay in, for example, a Marriott in any country of the world, it's a Marriott. You're not getting a feeling for the country or the people or the landscape. And um, so that's what I want when I travel. I have no interest in taking a cruise on a ship. You'd have to tie me up, handcuff me, and light me on fire to get me on a cruise ship. That's not at all my interest. Yeah, I'm not very uh, comfortable just laying around. So I, I like moving and have good aerobic capacity and being able to stay active until I can't and then plant me. Anytime you're physically, really physically challenged, and, and my legs were rubber at the end, I have to admit that, I felt like, all right, I can still do this. Even though I'm older, I'm not intimidated at all by uh, uh, these types of trips. It's an adventure of, of landing a boat in a new place you've never landed it before. You know, you've never launched or landed, so you don't know what to expect. And uh, so that makes it really special. I would do it again in a heartbeat. I thought it was uh, challenging, 
very doable but challenging and magnificently beautiful.